According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature or IUCN, the Singharaja Forest Reserve is the country's last viable area of primary tropical rainforest. Most of the trees here are endemic and many of them are considered rare. Singharaja experiences the effect of both the southwest and the northeast monsoons and regular rainfall is a common occurrence. The forest reserve receives an annual rainfall of 3,000 to 6,000 millimeters throughout the year. The forest reserve borders the three districts of Gaul, Matara and Ratnapura. Deniaya is a small town in the Matara district and is on the southern side of Singharaja. The area is populated with low country smallholder tea plantations. The Deniaya area's mountain terrain and lush jungles give rise to an abundance of water sources. After the rains, the water flows freely from nooks and crannies becoming rivulets running down the mountainside. These eventually gather momentum and size to create beautiful vistas of cascading water. Our first waterfall is the Nelua Dubili El, located 10 kilometers before the Lankagama entrance into Singharaja and 8 kilometers from the Nelua town this gorgeous fall cascades down many levels. There are steps leading up the side and one can access the viewpoint at the apex of the fall. The term Dubili refers to dust and has been given to many waterfalls which create a white mist effect through the spray of water. However, to distinguish from the many Duvili Ellers in Sri Lanka, the town name is prefixed to the word Duvili. There are eight beautiful waterfalls and a plethora of waterways at the Deniaya entrance to the Singharaja forest. These are Kakuna El, Patanoi El, Melmore El, Brahman El, Galloru El, Urangvatun El, Tattu El, and Duvili El. The best times to experience these spectacular waterways are just after or during the onset of the rainfall season. The enlarged torrents cascade down the mountain creating a diverse set of scenic backdrops. At Lankagama, Hiking a short two-kilometer loop will enable you to experience the beauty of five of the eight waterfalls in the area. The hike is not too difficult, but can be slippery in wet conditions. The river too must be negotiated with extra care to prevent oneself ending up in the water. Securing the services of a professional guide or park ranger is important and will enhance your experience. The first waterfall experienced and one that is closest to the entrance of the reserve is the Lankagama Brahman El. Folklore has it that during the reign of King Walagamba, a Brahmin fell to his death at this point. The Lankagama Urangvatuna Ella alludes to the folklore of wild pigs drowning at this location. This is a 24 meter high waterfall. The falls are devoid of a pool and flows over a collection of rocks. The Lankagama Galloru Ella is an interesting one. Long and narrow cascading about 30 meters into a thin gorge, just two meters in width. The water then flows through a subterranean passage before emerging downstream.
It gets its name Galorua, meaning boat of rock, from its slender appearance resembling the bottom section of an outrigger canoe. The Lankagama Duvilliella is a spectacular 25-meter high waterfall. After heavy rainfall, the Duvilli or dust effect makes it a breathtaking sight. The Lankagama Tattuella is a double-stage waterfall created downstream from the Lankagama Duvilliella. The falls cascade a height of around 15 meters. The waterfall is wide and creates a beautiful backdrop for photography. The waterfalls at Lankagama are not just backdrops for social media photographs. They are an important watershed contributing toward maintaining the delicate ecosystem of this rainforest. The waterfalls of Lankagama flow through and act to replenish vital aquifers beneath the Singharaja forest. These waterways travel through the jungle and cascade before meeting the Ginganga. For the task of hiking just a couple of kilometers at Lankagama, one is rewarded with the landscape of five gorgeous waterfalls.